Hi everyone, thank you so much for stopping by today. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Heather Spears and I am the main girl behind the Spears Sisters Borderlands 3 uh, Bandit Psycho Mask Tribute. If you have not seen that yet, I'll put it's going to be the first link in um, the description below and I really do recommend you watch it be before this because this is actually our kind of behind the scenes look at, and talking about that um, video. So if you haven't seen it, go check it out. And if you have, let's jump in and get started. The first thing that people usually ask me about projects like this is uh, what what did you do and it's such a loaded question on all of the Spear Sisters projects it's pretty much just me and Sarah that make it all happen so from the costume design to the photography videography all of that it's usually just us sometimes we do have an outside photographer but this one is strictly just the two of us we group together to bring out our strengths together to create this um, unique project and so it's really hard for me to draw out what I did and what she did because it does come together into one thing but I pretty much I planned it and um, after E3 I just I fell in love with Borderlands 3 I loved their presentation and everything so I planned this shoot and it, it started out it was just going to be two masks um, kind of more of a, of a cosplay thing, but they gave out these really, really neat um, posters at E3. And when I saw the, the designs of these posters, I thought, I wanna do a mask for every one of these posters. Now, it didn't come to that. I did not have enough time to do that, so I did choose my two favorites. And these ones were my two favorites because they contrast each other. And that's what I wanted to reflect in the entire video. I didn't want it to be just cosplay. I didn't want it to be just you know, I just I just wanted to incorporate as much as I could in their marketing strategy and bring it into one uh, one thing, and that's really what came from the video. So you know, I'm a big gamer, and one of the things that really st sticks out to me in Borderlands 3 is the simplest little thing, and it's something that I so desperately miss from a lot of games. But it's a couple trickling out that are are honoring these retro roots, but I love couch co-op and any same system co-op is it's just a, such a, a nice thing for me and Sarah. My favorite way to play regardless of any of the progression of online or having multiple TVs or multiple game consoles or all that jazz. My favorite place to play is side by side by my sister. It's how we've always done it. It's how we've spent our best gaming times and that's something that Borderlands 3 it recognizes and it harnesses and I wanted to show them how much I appreciated that by doing this game tribute and, and showing that fans are really in support of just the simplest of little things. It doesn't have to be massive. So the first thing was I knew I wanted to paint the masks to look like the posters and I wanted to do all the posters but I knew that I didn't have time to do all that. and. So I picked my two favorites. The two that I chose I liked because they were in complete contrast to each other. You got the one that's all colorful and the other one that's black and white. So I thought, you know, let's make that idea, you know, let's add to it a little bit. And I thought, you know, it would make it really cool if I not only painted the masks, but if each mask had its own backdrop. And from there, I kind of evolved into the idea of um, creating these you know, contrasting characters behind each mask and what they would wear and how they'd act. And that's really how it started and kind of how it finished. It was one base idea and then you just keep adding on top of it and adding on top of it until it becomes this huge project that, you know, my every day, it's just a, a passion. And I'm like, you know, I want to complete this and I want to get this out to the world. and make some kind of neat uh, themed entertainment out of it, I suppose, or like I like to call it, this is my Borderlands 3 game tribute. 
So of course I'm a big fan of the Borderlands series, but I'm almost even a bigger fan that Borderlands 3 is staying so true to their colors and what they have come to, to represent. I love, um, I love the artistic style and doing the makeup for this. I really wanted to make it seem like we were animated. Same with the, the attitudes behind each of these, uh, these masks that I, that I painted here. I wanted a, a Borderland-esque attitude to kind of come out and show through and have it be um, just, just neat or even kind of confusing at, at times. I just, I thought, you know, I'm gonna take elements of who I am and, and what I would be if I was in a game like Borderlands and that's just kind of what I came up with. Now, being in front of the camera is not my strong suit. I'm a bit shy, but, um, you know, having Sarah there with me, it makes it work. She's able to kind of pull me out of my shell a little bit. So that's kind of how I was able to make bisection of this work. I think the part that I, I liked a lot about painting the masks was it was really relaxing. I painted all the masks with my dogs were sitting next to me. My cat would come in and, and check out the paints and try, try to mess with me a little bit. But that was that was the relaxing part of the whole thing because it was just kind of, you know, pop on some music and just get to painting. And I did have the poster as a reference and I wanted to make it look like the mask itself jumped right out of the, right out of the poster and onto our face. So that is definitely where I, I kept my mindset is make this look exactly like this marketing material and make it make that come to life because needless to say I was a big fan of the marketing of it. I think the art and I know a lot of it was making references to other other forms of entertainment, other things, but these two particular pieces I thought they contrast each other so well and I just I was in love with it and so I thought let's let's make something of this. So now I know one of the one of the big questions is how the attitude or the the characters inside of these masks came to be, and I would be I'd be pretty silly to not confirm that there are aspects of me in the black and white mask and aspects of Sarah in the colorful mask. But that that was that's kind of besides the point. What I my main purpose for for kind of displaying this in the way that we did was I wanted to create something that really it was left up to the viewer to decide what they got from it. And I didn't want to like, I don't want to push any emotion out there or push a way that somebody's supposed to think of it out there. I really want that to be up to the viewer and what they take from it because there's so much going on and there's so much to see that I think each individual could come up with how they feel or you know, who they think um, the hero is of the situation, if there is one, or what they actually perceive is actually going on. So the longest, but also kind of my favorite part of this whole project is actually painting the backdrop. That was the big part of the project because the backdrop, it's, it's massive, it's, it's large, you know? This is behind me here, I think it's maybe a 10 by 10, maybe even 11 by 11 space, so it's, it's really big and I just, I have this abundance of white fabric and I laid it out on the floor and just kind of free handed the logo straight onto the fabric in my black paint. When I was looking at it, I thought, you know, it looks really cool for that black and white mask, but I wanted to do something to where I was able to make it match the colorful mask without it, um, without it taking away. So I just mixed paint with water and just kind of spilled it and rubbed it and splattered it until I got this um, maybe kind of splatter tie-dye look in the back and I thought oh my gosh this is what it's like this is what it should be like for the colorful mask but I think the stress of that came in with I only had one backdrop and it was all black and white and that's when I did my shoot and I, I had to take the time in between to to color the whole backdrop for Sarah's mask and that was stressful because if I messed up then that was it they weren't gonna match so that was the stressful fun and longest part of the entire project so when we were doing the shoot it was excruciatingly hot I we did the entire shoot in our garage and it is um it is the middle of August so I mean 
It's probably maybe 109 degrees outside when we're doing this shoot, so we had to stay hydrated. We had to do so much to even try to keep this um, makeup from caking up and, and kind of running off because, I mean, we were hot, we were sweating, and it was, it, it was a little bit... <laughs> A little bit of a mess in there but at the same time it was just so mega fun that you know you're not thinking about oh you know the lights are beating down on me and you know there's no airflow in here and you know if we were to open the garage door it would just be you know overexposed and and stuff so it kind of just came down to sucking it up having fun and getting out there and doing it anyway <laughs> And last but not least, of course I'm going to have other projects like this. There are so many games coming out that I'm very excited for. And it's kind of just our thing to, to take those games and try to make something, something out of this world or something, you know, you could only imagine and just kind of present that. So I'm not going to tell you right here which game I'm going to do next, but I'm going to be dropping hints all over our social media platforms and I'm very curious to see who might be the first person to guess uh, what my next game is because I've got my sights set on something and I'm very 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 excited to start my next project. Alright guys so that is it. That is the end of our closer look at our Borderlands 3 game tribute video. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and spending this time with me today. I really pour my heart and soul into projects like this and the fact that you stayed and watched and supported really means the world to me. Um, I wouldn't be able to do it without you and if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up. I'd love to know so I could keep coming and delivering even more uh, videos like this or hit the subscribe button. I'd love to see you back around our channel. And uh, yeah, so thank you guys again from the bottom of my heart. My appreciation is, is yours. And thank you again. Until next time, bye.